I just kind of sat in my chair, head spinning, like, what do I do? The biggest website on the internet right now is down, and it's because of me. MySpace is the number one site on the internet at this time. This was 2005, it even surpassed Google. So I was about 19 years old. I get onto MySpace and I set up a profile and I started playing around with the MySpace website, trying to see if there were any, any issues I could uh, exploit. Found a vulnerability in both MySpace and browsers that allowed me to write code and put it on my profile. The code I had written was actually giving me a ton of power. I had full control of the person's browser. So what would happen is if you visited my profile, you would add me as a friend, but the code would then replicate to your profile. So anyone who visited your profile would also add me as a friend and add the code onto their own profile. So from there, it became a worm or a virus. So I wake up in the morning expecting a couple new friends. I go on myspace.com and I now have like 10,000 new friends. Of course, it was exponential, so the next hour, I saw 50,000 people on my profile. Now, deleting my profile doesn't really get rid of the virus or the worm, right? It's kind of like a cold. Like, just because you're cured, if you spread it to 100 people, it doesn't matter. They still have the cold. So I go into MySpace and I say, delete profile. It says, OK, your profile will be deleted in 24 hours. It's just stuck in this frozen state for 24 hours while this worm continues to spread across MySpace. I'm at over 500,000 friends, and I'm just, I'm just blown away. I don't know how to like solve this problem. It was basically another hour when it hit over a million people. So at this point, it was less than 24 hours since I had launched the original worm on my profile. And now I'm just refreshing, and I hit refresh, and it says, this profile has been taken down. I'm like, finally. So hopefully they took down the worm and everything else. So I go to my girlfriend's profile, and it says, this profile has been taken down. And I'm like, oh no, <laughs> what just happened? So I go to myspace.com, their main page, and it says, MySpace is down. <laughs> and I felt terrible. And I'm thinking, maybe I should drive over MySpace, bring some coffee and donuts, and be like, hey guys, I'm so sorry. Can I help? And a few hours later, I check and MySpace is back up. Then I kind of just waited. A day went by, I woke up. Nothing happened, no cops. A week went by, no one has contacted me at all. After six months, I buy a new car, a Porsche Boxster. I'm walking down uh, to the, the garage in my apartment and the elevator opens and I see my car and I see two kind of big guys standing next to it. And I'm walking up to them like, oh no, like I'm getting carjacked. These guys are gonna beat me up and take my car. And as I'm walking up, two guys walk up behind me and I look around, I'm like, oh no, I'm surrounded. What's gonna happen? They, they say, Sammy? I'm like, yeah, we have a search warrant. And they all show me different badges. And we go up to my apartment and there are a dozen agents, all with guns, going through everything. And I'm like, whoa, people actually bust down doors with guns when they're after a computer hacker. They go through anything with technology, anything with a chip, anything with data. They take it and then they leave. And I'm like, am I free to go? And they're like, yeah. Like, you're not arrested, we just have a search warrant. And I find a, an attorney in LA, and he says, the DA wants to put you in prison. I had no idea what was gonna happen. After about six months, my attorney came back, and he said, all right, here's a plea that we can actually take. Basically, you'll pay some money, maybe like fifteen or $20,000, and you'll go to probation for three years, no prison. You can have one computer that's not on the internet. At this point, I really have no options. I say I accept the plea agreement, and that's that. I kind of started a, a new chapter of life because I had spent my entire life just in front of a computer. And finally, this like got me out. I just spent a lot of time doing other things that I think normal people did. As part of the deal, I had to do 720 hours of community service. So at 5 a.m. every Saturday, I'd wear this orange jumpsuit. I'd drive my Porsche to a waste facility and I'd get in a dump truck. I had to basically just pick up trash on the side of the road. And that was about two years. Three years later, everything was off my record. I could touch computers again. I could uh, use the internet. I was a normal citizen, rehabilitated by the state of California. That day I went out and I went to the Apple store, I bought a laptop, pulled out the laptop, turned it on, and I opened the web browser and I go to a website. I looked for a few minutes and then I shut it down. And I was like, all right, I'm just gonna go hang out with some friends. And, and that was pretty much that.